good morning. It's Saturday today. I think it might be the 6th or even 7th of February. And um, we've had a okay week here on the farm. Um, a lot of rain. Um, so the, the ground is very, very wet now. Um, and we think that we might be having some more wintry weather, some more snow coming. So it's very much a case of watch this space. Um, now just about to go and feed round the sheep, just on the pigs, so off we go. Well, this week's been a busy week with the sheep on uh, Thursday, we, we scanning day, so we, we usually give them the copper bolus when we scan them. That's something we've done for the past ooh, 10, 15, 20 years. Quite a long time ago, we had a bit of problem with uh, swayback. Uh, lambs born, we'd have to stand, no, not much power in the uh, hindquarters. I remember that. And uh, since then, we've given give the copper, it's done the trick, so while you on a successful thing you don't you know you don't stop doing it it's not a very expensive thing to do it's quite easy to and have you got the plunger yeah you just put one in the end of the uh, gun and away you go so they've all had one of those yeah. just do that yeah, these things are quite a long expiry date when you buy them. These are these are okay till 21, I think. But we were getting down them. We were having a bit of a count up, but with more than more that. That is the uh, item. Yeah. Come on! So we're bringing the sheep in for scanning. Here comes Doris. Hello. Here's Mabel. Here's Doris. Hi girls! We're going to scan you today. This is the second group of sheep. So we've got them all down and all done with the copper and then in the shed, ready and waiting for a guy who comes to do our scanning, a chap called Nairn. Um, we've been using him for a few years and we've always been really happy with his professionalism and his accuracy with the scan. And um, whilst we were scanning, it was Nick and Dad and I and uh, some of the sheep were a bit, stubborn they didn't really want to go so it was a team effort getting them up Nairn's ramp through the system but a good day and I'm going to also show you what I've been cooking I have made some uh, some lamb actually well hoggett so it's a, a one to two year old uh, sheep um, so we've been cooking that Moroccan style, so I'll show you the recipe that is going to be our Saturday night tea sorted. So I coated the hoggets in the spice mix, then added some stock before adding some chopped fruit. I used prunes, but you could use apricots or dates or raisins. Um, and then a little bit more liquid along with a tin of chopped tomatoes, rinse out all the juices. Then I added my diced veg, onions, carrot and celery. 
and gave it all a nice mix and left it to simmer whilst we were out doing jobs around the farm. Then I um, gave it some time to reduce and then added chickpeas and left it on a very low heat for about another hour just to get the perfect consistency and then left it on the hob ready to uh, eat later on on the stove top. It was a pretty dampened, uninspiring day, but we had bales to deliver. So dad and I went round and delivered some big bales to the sheep. We have started using a ring feeder of haylage um, and they're having a couple of bales per week. Um, it does make a bit of a mess of the ground, but we keep moving the ring feeder around um, to rotate the ground. has happened <laughs> we're filming me now are we yeah okay um so the oil burner has stopped working our boiler's broken so it was um we had the fires going last night which was great uh the fires really helped but without central heating in the middle of winter it's a bit of a worry um and as it's the weekend we probably won't get anyone to look at it maybe till monday but Nick is very handy and very clever, so Nick's going to have a fiddle and hopefully get it working. Hopefully. So I'm doing one of my winter jobs, which is um, collecting piles of sticks, making patches of sticks all around the campsite, um, makes the campsite tidy, ready for spring, and we will burn the sticks on our fire. to dry out and uh, we'll use them when they're nice and dry as fire lighting sticks come in very handy and save buying in any kindling. Here's the Moroccan hoggett dish finished and ready for us to enjoy nice and warming on a cold winter's Saturday night. If you're familiar with my videos, then you'll know that I do have a interest in wild swimming and getting in the cold water. Sometimes I wear a wetsuit and I try and swim further distance and other times I just really enjoy feeling the cold. This part of the river is only a mile away from the farm. It's absolutely stunning and it was a cold frosty day and it did me the power of good, cleansed me, renewed me, improved my mood. That's why I do it for the feelings of well-being and health. So that is the end of the video. I wanted to say a big thank you for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end and are seeing this. And please like the video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of the style, this kind of video, what we get up to, farm life, etc. Um, then I would love that. Come and join me on whatever we get up to in the next few days. Could be more snow on the way. There's talk of some severe weather, so whether it comes or not, we will see. Thanks for watching. Bye.